let's discuss about all the jobs I did as a full-time student here in London and how I managed to find each of them and also how much did each of them pay me. Hey guys, it's me Rao. Welcome back to my channel. So, let's start this video with my academic timeline. I was student here in London from October 2022. That's the time when I arrived in London till September 2023. During this time, I managed to do five part-time jobs. Please note that being student, I have only worked for 20 hours per week. And no, I haven't ever done any cash in hand jobs. So yeah, let's start this video with my first part-time job. My first job was at Domino's being customer representative and my task was usually to interact with the customers, getting orders, solving their queries and sometimes cutting pizzas and packing it into boxes. I worked here from November till the Christmas, I guess it's one and a half month or so. And yes, I was not getting uh, 20 hours per week. They usually used to give me 12 hours per week and I was getting paid for about 9.27 something per hour. I got this part-time job through reference. There was a guy who was living in the same accommodation as me and he used to work in Domino's for about three years. And yeah, that's how I got this job. Next job that I did was inside my university in one of the sustainability project called Cavendish Living Lab. Here I served as a media and community engagement intern. The contract for this job was from December 2022 till the last day of my studies. And here I had to serve five hours per week and they used to pay me 12.47 per hour. Before I share how I got this job, I really want to discuss the two more jobs which I did at the university, which I managed to get it just like this one. So the next part-time job that I got was being research intern in one of the UK NGO which was working towards environment of Central America under one of the professor at the university. My task here was to help him with the email marketing, data organization and also graphic designing. The contract for this internship was from January 2023 till March 2023. I have to contribute 15 hours per week and they used to pay me 12.4 cent per hour. After March, I applied for another internship and fortunately I got it in the first go. Here I was appointed as a digital ambassador for the School of Business at the University of Westminster. My task was to typically make the short form of content and upload it on the university platform. And the contract for this internship was about three months, that is from March 2023 till June 2023 and I have to work 15 hours per week and yes, I was getting paid 12.47 per hour. How I managed to get all these three internships at the university? Well, this is only for the University of Westminster students, but if you are in another university, they also have their portal, which works just like this one. So yeah, let me give you a brief. First, I registered myself through Talent Bank, which is the third party handling the job applications of the University of Westminster. Here, I have to register myself. Uh, you will find it on the university website, so don't worry about it. After this, you will see all the job listing, whether it's inside the university or outside the university. Here, you will find the jobs such as part-time job, full-time job, even the internship, traineeship, and also volunteer work. Apply to suitable opportunities through your resume and if you are a good match then they will just send you mail on your university email ID and they will conduct one interview and if it goes well then yes there you go you have your internship. Talent Bank is so useful if you are a student at University of Westminster or planning to study over here. They will help you with the resume building, interview preparation and also with the job applications. Here. They also provide you with the digital badge. It is for the recognition of your work. I was awarded as the Westminster Employability Award Gold. So yeah, for all the work that I did at the university. It was June 2023 and I was sitting in the library and my eyes just stuck on one of the poster which was saying that apply for student ambassador at University of Westminster. You will be paid for your work. And how come I missed this? So I instantly went on the university website and applied for the same. The contract here is not according to months, but instead it's a freelance work at the university. 
the student ambassador head will connect with you if you are registered student ambassador and they will let you know that there is event going to happen and if you are available on that day then they will just call you and you have to do the work they say and yes you will be paid for that here i actually met a lot of you guys who just moved to uk and it was my last day at the university and i served as a student ambassador for this job i was paid about 11.37 per hour and if you are a student at university of westminster then i will be linking down the link where you can register yourself so yeah i hope you guys find this video super helpful and if you did then make sure you like share and subscribe and do not forget to check out all the important links which i would be linking down below in the description box and yeah that that's pretty much it and i will see you guys in the next video till then